if you come to the Reds Hall of Fame today, which you should, because today of all days, it's packed with fans telling stories and kind of sharing their memories. You have to make your way all the way up to the third floor because that's where you will find Mary Alice Gosman. Today it marks her 58th consecutive opening day game. And let me tell you, she is spunky. She is pint sized, only four foot seven. She is absolutely darling and uh, shared some of her greatest memories with us as she's really kind of become part of the team, part of the family. I'm living my dream. I really, I'm living my dream. A dream she never thought would come true. Born into a coal miners family in West Virginia, Mary Alice Gossman grew up simply listening to the Reds on the radio. There was a boy that lived two doors down from me, Frankie. Frank was my best friend and we did everything together and he and I would listen to the games. In 1960, at just 17 years old, Mary Alice took a train by herself to Cincinnati for her first game. I remember going through the turnstile that you had to go through to get into the ballpark and I thought this I've never seen anything like this in my life. And I thought, I am never going to leave this. And she never did. She found herself a job at Time Loan in Reading and then at Diebold in Bont Hill, earning enough to have a little apartment <laughs> okay, and yeah. tickets to see the Reds. Once her boss gave her the nudge. Bill came to me. He said, Mary Alice, as much as you love baseball, how come you never go to opening day? And I said, Opening day is always on a work day. Have you ever noticed I don't miss work? And he said, well, you could take a vacation day. I said, you could take one day? And that, I went to opening day that year. That year, 66 was your first. 1966. And she hasn't missed an opening day game since that day in 1966. I went to the last game at Crosley Field, the first game at Riverfront Stadium, the last game at Synergy Field, and then I went to the first game at Great American Ballpark. Mary Alice has seen it all. As a rosy red, she began to meet some of the big names, like former owner Marge Schott and the Big Red Machine. Tom Browning was one of my favorites. He, he is Mr. Perfect, and he called me his perfect fan. I cannot believe that I know them personally. Mary Alice's own Hall of Fame in her home is full of autographs and memorabilia. And this blanket was Marge Schott's blanket. She had that over her lap at every game. She gave it to me. It's not the stuff, but the friendships that she treasures most. I didn't think I'd ever get to see them play, let alone become their friends. I'm living a dream that I couldn't even dream. And, you know, Mary Alice actually invites people to her own Reds Hall of Fame inside her Lebanon home. She says one day she got a call from uh, Shirley Larkin. Yeah, Barry Larkin's mom, who actually still lives here in town. And she said she was precious. She came through and loved every minute of it. She has a photo of them in there. And I said, okay, who's coming down this year? 58th opening day game. I said, it's got to be your husband, Tom, right? You've been married 48 years. She says... He does not enjoy baseball, does not come down. She doesn't know why she married him. We laughed really hard about that. He is also very lovely. Instead, she's bringing her adopted grandson, Jaden, down for his first opening day game. So a lot of excitement, a lot of memories to be made today, guys.